everyone, it's Julia, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another thrift store flip for you, or another thrift store flip. Uh, a little bit different this time because it's a no-sew project, and we're going to be doing a spring decor item. So I hope you join me. For the past several years, I have had the great opportunity of being a mentor mom for a group of young women in our community. These are young moms who just need a break and need to get out of the house and some of them are new to the area and, and want to just form relationships and I'm a mentor mom for them so what I do is I'm there for encouragement, um, answering any parenting questions that they might have and just basically just love on them. But this time I am in charge of the craft and the whole hour and a half is going to be doing a craft. They gave me, well, we don't have a budget. <laughs> they gave me like almost no budget. Uh, so I thought, well, I'm going to have to be a little bit creative. And I do, I am taking some things from my stash because if you all have seen my sewing room declutter series, you know I have a lot of stuff. So I'll be, I will be donating some things. I went to the thrift store and I want to show you what I found. My thrift store has shelves of these glass vases. You know the ones, the ones where you get when you get flowers for your birthday or, or whatever, and then you take the vase to the thrift store? Those vases. And here's a sample of an, the idea that I came up with. By adding some chalk paint and these little spirals that kind of look like leaves for the little paper flower. And the spirals are, are perfect to stick a little family photo or a photo of their children. Here are the supplies that I picked up at Walmart. I picked up the Waverly chalk paint in six different colors and they're going to be able to just to choose whichever color that they want. I mean, this is a, a nice paint to use. If you haven't experimented with it, I would recommend it. Um, and each one of these jars is $5.95 and I believe we're going to have plenty of paint. But I wanted them to give a, to get a variety of colors that they could use for whatever decor that they're going to, going to be putting it in. The other supplies that I picked up at Walmart are the, is the raffia, the little makeup sponges, these are the foam brushes that we're going to be using to apply the chalk paint to the vases. And now for some of the things that I'm using just in my, my stash, we'll need a variety of paper, pattern paper. This is just pattern on one side, white on the back, and it's a lightweight. I'm using a, a recollection um, pack, and I'm just going to bring a variety that they, and half a half a sheet's going to be plenty for one of the little flowers. And I don't know the weight on this. It doesn't say on here, but it's, it's not a heavy cardstock. It is a lighter weight paper, and that works the best. I'm going to need some files. So I'm just bringing some old nail files. This is for distressing the jar. At each table a brown ink pad that is going to be to distress the um, flower a little bit. Another thing we're going to need is is wire. This is a 22 gauge um, floral wire so it's green. This is for the, the leaves, the spiraled leaves that are going to hold the little photos. A snip, a needle nose, to do the spiral. I'm going to bring these. These are the Tim Holtz tickets so that they'll be able to stick a ticket in one of the, the leaves of the, uh, the flower. I mean they have a variety of different words on them so they'll get to pick one of those and then distress that and stick it in. And I think that's it for my dis for what I need to bring. They, they, they do have glue guns there and you just the glue gun is just to attach that flower right at the end. So let's get started. I'm going to just do the steps and how we're going to create these. My big event is tomorrow so it should be fun. So there's three tables of, of ladies so I want a sample for each table and I'll show you all three of my samples at the end. These glass vases were 50 cents at my thrift store. We have about 26 young moms and I picked up 30 of these these vases. I wanted a couple for samples and also in case one broke on the way to town I wanted to have plenty. Just putting a really light thin layer of this chalk paint on 
and we're going to need more than one layer um, and, and dry in between. Chalk paint dries quite quickly and so I think this is going to be an easy project to complete in the in the hour and a half that we have. Just loosely just drawing seven layers on the back side of this paper. Now these circles need to vary somewhat. The smallest one is about an inch across and the largest one about two inches. But they don't need to be perfect circles. I like the organic look to them and so I just roughly draw them out. Or you don't even have to draw them at all, you just cut them, cut circles. On to just distressing the tips of this. Now all the distressing in this project is optional. If some people don't like that look, you don't have to just do the distressing. But it just adds a little bit of um, just a neat little detail. So each one of these little layers is getting some uh, some ink on the edges. And I'm layering them and getting them all organized, smallest to the largest, and poking a hole in the center with a safety pin. And then sticking a brad through that hole. This has been such a fun group. I remember being a young mom with um, two, two children. I have a son and a daughter. And it was isolating. I was home. I, I mean, I had my craft business and I started that when they were young. But my husband traveled during the week and was home on weekends. And I did craft shows on weekends. And I, it, it, was, it was quite isolating. And so this is just a nice little group to get together. And uh, these moms, we do provide child care and they're able to um, just have a lot of conversations and they really are getting to know each other and forming some really good friendships. And I'm on to the another layer here and I think you saw me how I added some texture to those flowers just by crunching up those those layers. We're going to have to be doing these in steps um, in order for the paint to dry and so in that now when that layer is drying, we're going on to the wire here. About 18 inches of the wire needs that you need for each of the vases. And I'm just doing that spiral. I started with the needle nose pliers and then I just use my fingers to finish it off. You want about an inch or so of on each end of the spiral. And that's going to be plenty to hold a photo and also the label or the little tag. Our main goal when we do these crafts is to make it so it's not too complicated and so the gals can really just have fun and talk and get to know each other a little bit better help each other out if, if someone gets stuck with something and it just it's just been a it's just been fun taking that file that nail file now and just distress distressing the jar a little bit and I and I just do this on some of the edges and then around the top of it a little bit too and then just twisting that wire on and giving it a, a twist a couple times in the front of the vase. And getting those leaves out and just getting them in the position that I like. And then the raffia also gets added and the knot all goes in the front of the vase. Raffia adds so much to any hand hand crafted project. I just really enjoy the look of it and it again adds a dimension. I found that just adding a little bit of that chalk paint to the flower really ties everything together. Just adding it to the very tips. And putting a generous amount of the hot glue in the center of this flower and then it will attach a right in the center of that knot and also in the center of that um, wire.
onto the little tags. And like I said, they can pick whatever tag or whatever word they want and just dressing a little bit on that also. Again, optional. And then sticking it into the spiral. And then here's my, my family photo that I'm going to stick in there. And here's all three of them. And one will be on, at each table so they have a sample. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have um, a chance to create today. And maybe go to your thrift store and help them out because there is tons of these at the thrift store. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye for now.